Hey sweeties, today I'm coming to you with a favorites video and I haven't done one of these in forever. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm going to be pulling stuff off my vanity so it might take me like a second or two to just pull it off. But I hope you sweeties enjoy this video. It's just going to feature a few items. But yeah, let's get into it, right? The first thing I want to talk about is my Makeup Forever foundation and I'm wearing it today. At first I really hated it. I hated the finish on my face but for some reason I like it now. So this is one of my favorites. I've worn it a few times. I've had this for about two months or so and I've been trying to wear it. This is probably my fourth or fifth time wearing it. I go back and forth between that and my Smashbox foundation which I really love but I'm not featuring it in that because yeah I'm just not. But anyways, yes, I really do love that Makeup Forever foundation. Secondly, I really do love my uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It's very, like, it makes your eyelashes look very voluminous. The uh, wand may be a little too, like, um, chunky. But if you put it on right, be careful. You'll be fine and you'll have very nice lashes. I do have that on my bottom lash line today. And I really love it. Thirdly... I've been loving this Ulta um, sculpting palette and then this is the Muse and I really love it. This is, I got the darkest one of course. At first I've had this for a while and at first I swatched it on my hand I was like oh this is too light for me. I can't you know highlight and contour with this. It's not gonna, I mean I can't contour with this. It's not gonna work out. So I didn't even bother using like the highlight. Let me try to come closer. I'm gonna open it. Uh. I think you can see it a little bit. I didn't even bother like using the sh the the blush or the highlighting color. But anywho, I started using this recently and I really do like it and I really can contour with this. I contoured with it today. Did my nose, did all around here and it's very nice. It gives me a very nice natural contour as opposed to having a very harsh or not harsh but you know uh yeah, you know, one of those contours. It gives me just a that kind of contour. So I really love that. And um, the highlighter, you would you wouldn't even think that it's that um, highlighty, but it actually is. Like it gives me this nice. Uh, I tried to swatch it just now and it didn't show up. But it gives me this very nice highlight. A very nice. As you can see, that's what I'm wearing today. And so I really love this palette and I kind of reach for it because it's all it's all in one so it's very easy to use although today I did put a blush on top of the blush because I wanted like a more dramatic blush and this blush is a little light so yeah I did put a blush on top of this one but other than that I really do love this another thing that I've been loving is I know I'm very late is the city color timeless beauty uh, highlight and bronzer powder palette and I got this at um, iMads. I forgot when iMads was. It was in April, March or April. I'm not sure. Oh, it was in April. So I've had this for a month, over a month. And I really love it. It really does get the job done. And it's very inexpensive for something that just, you know, you can compare this to those expensive products out there. I'm not gonna name any because I'm not like, you know, one of those dupe people like, oh, this is a dupe for whatever. I don't have time for that but it's very comparable to those very expensive products out there if you don't want to spend too much but you want to have a very nice highlight I said go ahead and get this and I know you can order it online I got it at IMATS and I'm not sure if I got a regular price or a discounted price regardless I pay for it because I and I love it what I have on my lips today today I do have a um a Too Faced Melted it's the purple one I have Too Faced Melted Violet and that's what's on my lips today if you wanted to know. I really started to get away from like colorful lips and stuff like that because you know it was winter and I'm just a, uh, a, a neutral lip type of girl. I like my pinky nude colors so I really did stray away from these kind of colors but I'm trying to get back in the motion of where, in the mood to wear these again so I'll see how this goes even over the weekend I bought one of these and I bought like a nude color so yeah I'm trying to get back in the habit of wearing this again oh and then another favorite is what I've been wearing for the past like I've worn these so many times I can even tell you it's the lashes that I have on today and I'm gonna zoom in
And today I do have one iconic by House of Lashes and I really, really, really love these lashes. They are just awesome. Like they really are awesome. They are some really good lashes. They just make your eye look like pop. And today I didn't even do an eye look. All I did was just, you know, like I did some liner and lashes. And it makes your eyes pop regardless of what you do. You gotta make your eyes pop. So I really do love these lashes. I've been in love with my Sephora uh, brushes lately. I have this one brush. It's a it's a powder bronzer brush, and it's number 48. But I've been using this to apply my foundation, and I'm always on a hunt. But well, lately, I've been on a hunt for like a different style foundation brush because I'm so used to like my flat top kabuki brush, and I really do love to apply with that. But I wanted something a little different, so I got like this round top kabuki brush from from Sephora. It was on clearance. And I'm not sure how much I paid for it, but it was like around $20 or so. And I really do love this brush. And I also love that Sephora's brushes come in like these little plastic things. I don't know if people do save them or not. I save mine because I feel like this is just awesome to hold your brushes in. Whether you're traveling or something, it's really good to just keep it in there. Especially a foundation brush, something I use for my foundation. I don't want it to get all over and make all other things messy. So I keep this. Then I have this other Sephora brush, and this one is just a contouring brush, and I did pay full price for this actually. This is number 77, and it comes in one of these cases again, and you just whew, pop it open. Oh, this brush is everything, and this is what I use today to contour my face. I just love it because it actually just hugs, you know, right here, it just hugs it, and you just have this awesome contour with it. And the brushes are just so sleek and nice. They are quite pricey though. I think this was like 30 something or 40 something, 30 something, 30 something. And then I had like this coupon for Sephora, which was really awesome. So I used that and I'm excited about that. Let's talk about fragrances. One of my favorite fragrances at, at the moment, which I, I think I spoke about in one of my videos is Love Me by Victoria's Secret. I really, really, really do love this and it just smells so awesome. I am about to go out, so I'm gonna spray some on me. Whew. It smells so good. Um, I've used quite a bit, not really. I use this all the time though. So I'm, I'm surprised that it's like not that much done, which means that a, a little, a lot goes a lot. This bottle just goes a long way, basically. And then I've also been loving this Escada scent. It's called Joyful. And I do have the travel size that I've been using. So I haven't been using this. I got this originally for Christmas. And I didn't really use it much. But then um, what happened is I went to Sephora. And you know how they have a little 250 points of perfume? And I ended up getting one of these. And it was like just a little tiny cute little bottle version of this. Let's see if I have it here. So, okay. Anywho, I used the crap out of it and it's done. So I really do love this. Okay, let's talk about my hair. This is my last favorite. My hair, I really love this. I got this from AliExpress and I was thinking about doing a review, a hair review on it, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Anyways, I do love it. I did color it myself. Um, this hair is really nice and it actually still has the natural curl pattern. I've wanded it a few times and it always goes back to the natural curl pattern whenever the curls fall. So I'm really happy about that. Anyway, sweeties, this is the end of my favorites and I really hope you enjoyed it. I will be coming back with more favorites now that I actually like did this. I'm like, it's not that bad. So I'll be coming back with more favorites. Alright, sweeties, next time. Love ain't never been so easy.